I was speaking at this retreat with a bunch of like college students and post-college people and I was talking about finding God's purpose and filling God's, fulfilling God's purpose for your life. And when I was finished, a young man walked up to me, he was probably, you know, 25, 26, and he said, you know, man, when I was listening to you talk, I felt like God was just speaking to me again, like he was just really confirming in me or, or really just stirring in me that, you know, I really just should be a teacher. I said, oh, really? Awesome. So, so you're going to go be a teacher? Yeah, well, it's a little more complicated than that because I'm already an accountant. I went to school for accounting, and I, even though I always felt like I should be a teacher, I, I took on this accounting thing. I said, well, it's a simple answer. Quit your accounting job, go back to school for teaching, and become a teacher. It sounds like that's what God's calling to do. And then he got his face got really funny, and it kind of fell, and he said to me, yeah, but I've, I've purchased a house, and I got a new car, and you know, I really like the money I'm making in my job, and if I want to go back and be a teacher, it's going to be really complicated, and you know, that means I have to sell my house and my car, and I really like my house and my car, and he starts going through this whole thing. I'm like, what? What? Are you kidding me? You mean you're going to let a car and a house going to stop you from, from doing what God wants you to do? And then it made me think, wow, how many people in the world, or maybe I should ask you, is, does money keep you fulfilling God's purpose for your life? Does money get in the way of what you feel God's calling you to do? Or, or maybe more importantly, does money get in the way of, of you becoming all that God wants you to be? Think about it. 